what is up my anomalous crew it is destiny faye and i am back looking a little crusty so i'm about to put on some lotion but otherwise you know everything's in place but that one nail um so i'm just gonna moisturize first and then i'm gonna get started you know it's important to moisturize so that your makeup has a foundation a base that it has something to stick to if you're putting your makeup on your bare skin you're crazy because it's not going to lay right. It's not going to stick properly. And it's not going to last. So, of course, we're going in to fix the eyebrows first. You must, must fix those eyebrows. I don't understand what y'all can comment below. But I don't understand how y'all be doing your eyebrows last. Like, if you're concealing, concealing is like a base to me. But y'all can tell me. We're going to have a little conversation in below. But let me know what y'all think because to me, brow should be first because you have to conceal them, you have to get them perfect, sharp, and then you put your foundation over your concealer that you did. So you sharpen with the concealer and then you go back in with the foundation and you cover up like your light spots and make it all blend together. Y'all let me know though because... I've seen people use pencil and not use a concealer to sharpen, but to me, it looks best this way. As you can see, I am doing stroke by stroke, and I'm not trying to carry out it, carry out the brow line all in one stroke, but I'm divvying it up into little strokes, and then I'm brushing it through as I, you know, see fit. I'm getting that front of the brow real nice and putting some strokes in the front and just creating a natural arch brow. Not too dramatic as you can see. I'm going in with my Baby Girl Fawn by LA Girl Pro. The usual, the typical. And I have an angle brush. A nice stiff angle brush will get you your best arch. Trust, trust. So I go in the front of the brow first with my product. And usually you want to put your product or lay your product where you want the most. Well, not where you want the most, but you want to lay your product accordingly. So I lay mine in the front so that I can take that product from the front and just spread it on back to my arch. I find this easiest just because... When I lay my concealer at my arch, I tend to have too much. So usually when you lay your concealer at is where you have the most um, product at. So I just would rather have more product at the front of my brow than the arch and tail. Because it gets a little messy when you have too much product back there. So... I use my excess product and I go in the middle of my brow and I just cover up. Not that I have a unibrow, um, but when you are laying or what I have seen happen to me and many other people, it's when you don't put that middle line in between your brow when and you've like arched and made sure the rest of your brow is sharp with concealer. And then you go in with foundation, you can see the void. Of not having concealer in the middle of your brow like a lot of people don't know but when you don't lay foundation there you have a little bit of a discoloration in between your brow that you don't even notice sometimes so just put the foundation or the concealer right there and make sure you know you lay everything accordingly so I found that when you over apply the concealer and you take it up a little bit to your forehead it just makes for a smoother foundation where you're going and you're transitioning into your found your actual foundation color that you're putting on your whole face so i just take it up to my forehead so that we're not having any issues with void marks and just ugh. yeah um if you get what i mean let me know in the comments below because i feel like i did a bad description um we're taking this nyx professional makeup eye base in the color white 
yeah you're gonna see shortly that this did not work out too good for me um i was trying something new because i feel like it's always good to try new things in makeup but this right here was just so waxy and it made my eyelids crease and you know i still pushed through you know i kept on going and i was gonna use the color yellow and you know create a nice little I look that was you no know, nice yellow bronzy ombre, um, but you can see the stick. It didn't even stick right, like bruh. It was all bad, so I had to wipe it off. You know, start over. When things go wrong, you just start over. You just boom, just do it. You know, and this is where makeup gets frustrating for most people because it takes a lot sometimes to get the perfect look. So, you know, I went in with my typical concealer and I was just like, look, let's lay it on. Let's lay it on thick. And we're going to get this eyeshadow sticking and pigmented like we usually do. Because this is what seems to work best for me. I've tried bases. I've tried different concealers. And my LA Girl Pro or my Cream Anastasia Contour Palette. And that neutral color that I usually use is what works best on my eyes and what's get and what gets my eyeshadow laying the best. So I'm going in with my dense brush and I'm just laying it out smoothly and evenly on my eyes so that we're not having any patches. You know, I've become a big, big stickler for patches because in videos and in different lightings and angles you can just see different things with makeup so it's important to get it laying really nice and even at all times just to cover everything evenly we're going in with that yellow color again i was just really feeling that yellow feeling that yellow color and then this is where i went wrong again i just had to put this gray color yeah no so as you can see shortly I just took it off because I was not feeling it. Guys, if you are not feeling your look, don't keep going. Please don't. So, yeah, at this point, my eyes were a little swollen. Like, you know how that you get that raw feeling after you just keep wiping your makeup off when it's not right? Yeah, that's how I was feeling at this point. So, I was like, look, you know, we're going to do this concealer job one more time on this eye. And if it don't work out, look... I was going to cut the whole video. <laughs> and that's the problem I have most times. I make a video and then not be satisfied. Or I'll make a video and can't get this eyeshadow right. Like, eyeshadow for me is the most important part. If you're going to do it, do it well. Do it nice. Do it precise. And make it cute. Please. Please make it cute. So, going in my dense brush, dense brush again i will put this brush below because this is my favorite brush um if you guys want to know where i got it from i will put it below this was gifted to me by one of my makeup teachers thank you miss talia shout out if you're watching this you were an amazing teacher so we're just gonna lay this nice pigmented red color first um, I don't start off with my transition color anymore because I just like to transition after applying my base color, if that makes sense. So as you can see, I go in, I took that red up a little higher than usual to get a dramatic look. And then you'll see me go back in with the yellow and I warmed up that red so you can see how the, it bl just blend better instead of me putting the yellow first and going into the red and going back to the yellow. So then I'm also going in with that brown and I'm just putting that so that my eyebrow is blending. You're not seeing like a concealer line and it just made it so that it took less focus off the eyebrow by making that concealer not so light and then going back into that red color is just to me blends really nicely so i took my i believe that also nyx and it's a glitter base and i just apply that to get a nice cut crease because today we are using glitter and i am applying it to like a little less than half of my eye not my eyebrow my eyelid um I usually, if I was doing a nice 
like the fine crust cut crease i would have went a little higher but i just wanted the glitter to hit right on the lid and just blend into my red color and then into my transition i really didn't want the full cut crease look that it's really defined and dramatic we're just going for that simple cut crease that hits right you know at the tip of the eyelid not even like my eyes are big so you can see i still have a little portion of eyelid left that i didn't cover but that was purposely purposely okay so yeah as you can see we're just filling that in with the orange padding 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 and not wiping so we're patting it into that base and we're just packing it in there packing 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 like pac-man man 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 so then we're doing the other side and yeah same goes for the other side we're gonna get it on the real good and then we're gonna pop, 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 pack it in there real nicely so guys i'm sorry because my lips were like ashy and i kept licking them and then i think i got something on my lip because i was trying to wipe and lick and yeah i'm just i'm sorry i i needed some lotion that day and i couldn't find it and then i found it and then i didn't use it so yeah you know same with the chapstick i didn't put no chapstick on at the beginning of this video and i really should have like <laughs> but yeah do y'all see this frontal though? I forgot to even talk about the frontal. Do y'all see it? I know y'all see it. And I know y'all like, so you just not gonna talk about the frontal? Mm. <laughs> I'll talk about it later. So now we're going back in with Fawn. Um, Fawn was looking a little light for me today, but it worked. So I end up going in with Fawn in my usual highlight spots. And... I blended in really nice, really nicely with my dense brush, my favorite dense brush. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're blending, 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 and then I was like, you know, bump it. This look is just going towards dramatic, and I was really trying to keep it simple at first, but I just end up taking that concealer a little bit further out than usual, and end up blending it into a full foundation look which you will see shortly yeah so i go on my forehead under eyes and lips this is usually how my highlight looks just a little bit less <laughs> so yeah pattern everywhere and i think the reason why i ended up going full out just concealer everywhere because i just was so worried about being even like right before this i had a really bad experience with just even makeup and not only on me but i saw it on someone else and i was out in public and i just turned my i was in the sunlight and i had turned my head and literally everywhere on my forehead where i did not put concealer under my foundation it was like a void mark and i was just like wow like foundation not like skin foundation, but your foundation of your makeup is very, very important. I don't, I can't stress it enough. Your foundation of your makeup must be even. You must have a, a moisturizer. If, you're, if your skin is dry, you must have a moisturizer. Even if your skin is not dry, a moisturizer is a nice stick. So your makeup has something to stick to and last all day with. It's like being compatible with different things. Like you have to be compatible with your makeup and allow it to have something to fuse with. So then we're going in with my Morphe 350 palette and we're just gonna use a brown. Yeah, that's like my dark brown. That's the eyeshadow I usually use for my brows. Um, I went a little darker than usual because I knew that Fawn was looking a little light that day. So I was really trying to just tone it down with a darker contour. Um, but really it just made the look more contrast and it made me have really defined cheekbones. So yeah. 
Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Them eyes came out good, though. Like, ooh. And look at the brows. Hello, brows. Blend, 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 blend. Blend this contour. Oh, my gosh. Don't use eyeshadow for contour. I was just desperate this day. But it's so hard to blend. Especially when you already have, like, a nice foundation set. <laughs> and with me using concealer, it was really thick, so... Blending was a little harder than usual. So, yep. We're just going in and blending with a thicker brush. A bigger brush. Because I just want to lay it a little bit wider than usual. To kind of <laughs> make the look more bronzy. And then we're going in with... this. this is, I don't even know what this palette is called anymore. But we're going in with that highlight color and just hitting the high points of our face and as you can see my eye always starts to water at the end of my makeup look right when I'm about to put my lashes on bruh like <laughs> if you can relate please leave a thumbs up because I promise my eyes just be like oh you thought she was wearing lashes today no so I'm going in my under eye with that same bronzy brown that I use for my transition. And I'm putting it under my eye. Actually, that was not, that was the blush that I put under my eye. But then I'm lining my lip because I always have to line my lip. It makes my lips look way better for some reason and I really don't know why. But then I'm going in with that highlight color and putting it in my intercorner. Hey, girl. Oh, you popping. So then I'm going with my mink lashes. Faux mink. And I'm putting a little lip gloss on to finish that lip look. But I waited for my minks to dry while I did that. And, yeah. Hey, girl. So now I'm putting my minks on, and we're just going to finish the look like that. My camera did end up dying, and I just was like, bruh, you know what, bump it. But um, also, tell me what lip looks you want, because I feel like I always do nude. <sighs> and I don't want to get boring. So here we go. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. The more you comment, the more content you get, you know comment below let me know and i will see you in the next video bye